Hi and welcome to this video log with me Wayne from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com. Well this week I'm going to show you one thing that can really change your running completely and make hitting speed targets one hell of a lot easier. And the thing I'm talking about are these little things which are called tempo trainers. Now generally these are used for swimming, swimming but they're incredibly useful for runners as well. And what they do is they actually beat out a particular tempo. You can hear that. And if you actually put a step down to that tempo, you can actually control your running much easier, actually make it much simpler to run a particular speed. Now these are produced by Finis, and if you follow the link below, we can actually get you a 20% discount on tempo trainers. So please, if you find this useful, just follow the link below and you're into actually saving money as well. Now we're going to illustrate how good these can be using two individual runners that I've been coaching lately. The first one's Joshua. Now you've seen Joshua before in that crossover video. Let's just go to the computer and remind you of him. And just to show you, we've been working on that crossover step. And if we look at this uh, left leg, which was his problem leg before, if we look at that with a line down his body, down the center, you can see he's no longer crossing over. And that's, that's just using the um, exercises we used in that video, which I'll put a link to in the top. But now he's running much smoother and much better uh, than he was previously. We'll just run this forward at slow motion. You can see he's running in a much straighter line with far less crossover than he was before. The second runner is Steve, and he once again has specific targets that he wants to hit. Let's have a look at Steve. And here's our second runner, Steve, and you can see he's running very compact, and he's going at what he thinks is his 5k pace. He's got very much a sort of midfoot strike, and he just looks as if he's not wasting much energy on that run. Now, both of these runners have been brought to me by those wonderful folks that we run. Remember, we run. They're an online community uh, who help runners um, run individually, and they can find a coach for you who's local to your area. So if you need help with your running, just go through to We Run with the uh, link below, and you can find a coach that's local to you who can help you start running better right from today. Okay, so now let's show you exactly how well the Tempo Trainer worked in practice. Let's go back to the computer. So here we're looking at a spreadsheet called Joshua Targets and Results. And within that, I actually have certain tabs where I actually record training runs. And I've done four sessions with Joshua in total. And initially we started by just looking at how he could run, how fast he could run a 400 at what, what we were trying to do was his 800 pace. So this isn't flat out. This is just at his 800 pace. And I took a note of the cadence, the steps per minute that he was actually doing. And from that point, we've actually started to look at how we can improve his running. We're already trying to change a crossover, and we've seen that, obviously, in the video. Um, but in the third session, we were doing 200s and 400s. And on the 200, I gave him a tempo trainer at 170 steps per minute. Now, you can see from the results that the 200s are significantly faster than the 400s. Um, and that's not because he's getting tired on the 400s. Joshua is an 800 meter runner, runner, so that shouldn't be happening. So then on the next session, we just stuck with 200s, but we did 10 of them and we made every single one 175 steps per minute with Joshua holding the tempo trainer as he went so he could hear it. Now we start off reasonably fast at 22.4, but then we just tail off a little bit as he got a bit tired and then he got used to the 175 steps a minute. And he went from 20.2 to 21.4, 21.5, 21.8. And he finished when he was pretty tired at 23.19 kilometers an hour. Now that's pretty fast for a 200 meters. I'd certainly like to be able to do that. But it just shows that it takes some time to get used to that tempo. So you've got to give yourself just a little bit of time. Don't expect it to happen in one run. It has to happen over quite a few. Now here we have a file for Steve. Uh, and, and Steve, uh, this is the first session I was with him, but he has a very specific aim and he wants to beat 20 minutes for a 5k and 40 minutes for a 10k. And obviously we're going to do the 5k first, but the, the key to him is actually hitting 15 kilometers an hour and can he hold that? So in our first session with him, I wanted to test 
whether he could actually hold that pace and how easy it would be. And whilst he was doing some filming and some warm-up runs, I'd checked out his, his steps per minute and it was about 170. So what we said on these was the first two laps, and the lap was 520 metres, the first two laps, let's go just at your normal pace, you're just, just comfortable pace. And then what we're going to do is we're going to introduce 180 steps per minute, because your normal steps are 170. I'm going to raise that 10 steps per minute and see what happens. So the first two we were going at 13.21 and 13.19 kilometres an hour. And then we hit in the 180 steps per minute. And immediately, we saw that difference and we saw 15.12, 15.04 and 15.6. So immediately Steve was able to hit his target pace at 180 steps per minute. That's amazingly positive. Now in every single experiment I have ever done using swimmers with tempo trainers, the faster the cadence, the faster the strokes per minute that someone can do, the faster they will go with one proviso, so long as they can keep that strokes per minute up for the whole distance of a race. So if you're looking at a 100 meters you'd have to keep it up for 100 meters and again if you're looking for a half marathon you'd have to be able to keep it up for that. But that's exactly the same with running and I'm finding as I experiment more and more exactly the same relationship with footfall and speed. The faster your footfall the faster your speed. And as long as you can hold that for the whole length of your distance, your chosen distance, you'll actually hit a faster time. There you go, it's that simple. Find the steps per minute that hits a particular speed for you and train to be able to keep that steps per minute for the length of time you need to hit your target race distance. Now remember there's a 20% discount on a finish tempo trainer if you follow the link below to the Finnish website so you can get that and that will save you some money. But hopefully you've enjoyed that and it's given you an insight into how you can actually achieve a target if you have one for running a particular distance in a particular time. Thanks very much for watching. See you next week.